Hi everyone, it's Scarlett at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this fall truck kit. Every kit, you're going to get a paint by line cutout. You're going to get um, like a little packet that tells you exactly what to do. You're going to get assorted paints that I have chosen, um, a pack of ten brushes, and a sharpie brush stroke marker. So first, I'm going in with the largest paintbrush in the pack, and I am going to begin doing um, my base coating. So I just used the color tan provided um, and painted the body of the turkey. And now I'm using the brown provided and I'm painting the stems on the pumpkin, the center of the sunflower, and also the turkey's hat. Next, I'm going in with the orange and I'm going to paint the pumpkins and I will go back in later after this dries and do a second coat of orange. I just wanted a little bit more vibrant, um, so I'll be going back in and doing a second coat. I'm also using that orange for his feathers and you kind of use your own discretion on whether or not you think it's going to need another coat or not. Um, it'll also depend on how thick you lay the paint. I'm going in now with the yellow and painting um, some of his feathers and also this sunflower here and his beak. Now I'm going to go in with a little bit of red and paint his gobbler and also some of his feathers um, actually, it'll be the last feathers left on him. Um, I'll finish them out in red and also this little um, ribbon on his hat. And I will also be using this red color for the truck here in a minute. But first, I'm going to go in with the green provided and I'm going to paint the leaf and the vine on the pumpkin and also the leaves on the sunflower. So now I'm going in with that red and I'm going to base coat the entire truck, um, just the body of the truck. Um, and this red is really good red, so I'm not going to have to go in and do a second coat on it. Um, it covers very well. And don't worry if you get a little bit outside the lines because we'll be going in later with a marker and outlining everything and that will clean up any kind of mistake you may have made. Um, if the paint blends together a little bit, it'll be fine. I'm going in now with a light gray provided and I'm going to paint the bumper. And now I'm going to go in with the light blue and I'm going to paint the back glass in the side rear view mirrors. Um, I chose blue instead of gray because I wanted to brighten this truck up. I'm using several uh, kind of darker fall colors. So I wanted to be able to go in with a brighter blue and just um, kind of brighten the whole product up. But of course, if you would rather use gray, the gray is provided. So you could go in and use that instead. After this, I'm going to go in and I'm going to paint the tires black. And after that, my product will be completely base coated and I will be able to move on to my next step. Before I'm able to move on to my next step, I want to allow everything plenty of time to dry completely. And then I'm going to go in with my Sharpie brush stroke marker that is provided. And I'm going to begin to outline everything. I just kind of let this marker rest in the lines that are etched into the cutout. So I'm not freehanding any of this here today. All the lines are etched into the cutout. And I'm able to kind of just use my marker um, and kind of just follow those lines. I really love using this marker because it gives you such precise um, and clean lines. Um, and it's just super easy but of course if you'd rather go in with paint uh, there is a black paint provided in this kit and you can use one of the tinier detail brushes that come in your pack of um, colors I mean pack of brushes but of course again I want to say that I would definitely recommend using this marker it just makes it really easy um, and enjoyable to use because it's such a clean line as you can see here Thank you. 
Now I'm going to go in with a number four round and uh, the white paint provided and I'm going to highlight everything. Whenever I'm highlighting, I like to just kind of follow the natural curves of the cutout. Uh, that keeps a more uniformed look. And I like to do this step because it brightens everything up. After that, I'm done. I really hope you guys enjoy these paint kits and have a wonderful day. Make sure to let us know what you think in the comments.